I'm Rick Buck and I've been a dentist for 16 years. Today we're going to talk about what a root canal treatment is, the reasons you would need one, and the question you all have, does it hurt? Every tooth has at least one root that anchors it to the underlying bone. Running through the center of each root is at least one canal that leads right up to a center pulp chamber in the middle of the tooth. Running through these canals and pulp chamber is a blood supply and a nerve that gives the tooth life. However, sometimes there's a problem with those tissues and there is a need to remove them, which I will go over in just a minute. To remove those tissues, you make a hole or access opening in the upper portion or crown of the tooth. Then you find all the main canals in each root of the tooth. After you locate them, you remove the nerve, blood supply, and infected tissues with a series of files. At the same time, those same files are shaping the canal so you can easily complete the remaining steps and seal off the tooth. If the blood supply wasn't already gone from the infection, this filing removes the blood supply from the canals. That being said, this means the body has no way of fighting an infection that would inevitably find its way into the tooth. So we have to seal off these canals. And that being said, most of the time when doing a root canal, this blood supply is already gone or dying. The next step is to irrigate with sodium hypochlorite or bleach to ensure the canals are disinfected. Once they're disinfected, you seal off the canals with a natural biocompatible rubbery material called gutta percha and a sealer that cements the gutta percha into place. Once it is complete, usually at a second appointment, you permanently seal off the access hole in the tooth. If the tooth was a molar or premolar tooth or a severely weakened front tooth, you would need a crown as well on the tooth to prevent the tooth from fracturing in the future. If not, like this patient you're looking at right here, you will more than likely fracture the tooth within one to five years as the tooth becomes more brittle in time and has no center core holding it together. And studies show, and I can attest to this, this happens most of the time in one to five years after a root canal. So, does a root canal treatment hurt? Once you're numb, you shouldn't feel a thing like any other procedure. For the patient, a root canal is mostly just a long, uneventful, boring procedure and not painful or has anything to do with pain at all. The issue is that sometimes the infection blocks the tooth from becoming profoundly numb. Off the top of my head, this is probably like 95% of the time the patient gets numb right away and fully. Another four or more percent of the time, it takes a round of antibiotics to clear up the infection so the patient can become profoundly numb. Then there's the remainder of the teeth that will not become sufficiently numb and that happens less than 1% of the time. It's rare, but it does happen and it's just a matter of finding where those nerves are running so you can numb it up profoundly. An endodontist, also called a root canal specialist, have to use their expertise a lot of times to perform the root canal if you can't become profoundly numb. And don't worry, most dentists aren't gonna do the root canal until you're profoundly numb. I know there's a few horror stories out there, but get yourself a good dentist and you don't need to worry about that. Quickly, before I get into the most interesting part, I developed the best toothbrush floss and other dental products that are in Amazon affiliate links in the description. And these dental products are more advanced and will give you a stunningly clean mouth. You should watch my videos about why they are the best posted at the end of this video so you brush and floss with superior results that avoid gum disease, cavities, and give you fresh breath. So why would you need a root canal? A few possible reasons actually. Here they are. One, decay. Once decay gets into a tooth, it slowly progresses until it reaches the center chamber that houses the nerve and blood supply. Once decay reaches this chamber, it will cause infection and pain over time. Whether or not the exposure is causing pain and infection yet, if the decay goes sufficiently into the pulp chamber, it needs a root canal to save the tooth despite whether you're having pain or not. Sometimes tooth decay barely goes into the canal and you can get away with sealing off the pulp chamber and not doing the root canal. And you can give that a try and I do that all the time and the teeth never end up needing the root canal. But that's if it just 
barely goes into that canal. Two, infection. Teeth will often get an infection normally due to decay that lets an uncontrollable amount of bacteria into the canals. However, infection can also happen if anything else kills off the blood supply in the tooth. It doesn't have to be decay. And once the tooth blood supply dies, it has no way to fight off infection. So infection easily gets up into the tooth. Not even antibiotics can get rid of the infection in the tooth in this case because it does not have a blood supply to carry the equipment into the tooth to fight the infection. Now, antibiotics may be able to temporarily get rid of the infection around the tooth, but it will come right back as the infection lives on in the tooth. And even if it were able to get rid of the infection in the tooth, whatever caused the infection to get in there in the first place will still come right back in and infect that tooth. Once infection is there, there's no antibiotic or anything that will stop it until the root canal is done. And if you don't want the root canal, you can take out the tooth as well. Three, sensitivity and pain. Tooth sensitivity can be caused by many factors, but if inflammation, dentin hypersensitivity, or a dying nerve are causing your sensitivity, and it's enough that it's driving you nuts, then a root canal could be an option to ease the pain. Inflammation and dentin hypersensitivity are each in-depth topics that I have already covered on my channel. So you can watch my other videos on those if you want to know if your sensitivity issues would require a root canal. But obviously seeing a dentist is the only official way to diagnose that. Four, place a post in the tooth. A tooth that is weakened due to um, too much wear, a fracture, or too much tooth being drilled away from dental work may require more strength to restore it. One way to strengthen the upper portion of a tooth is to place a post into the root, which will draw strength from the lower portion and give strength to the upper portion of the tooth. A root canal must first be done before a post is placed into the root of a tooth. Five, cracks. Cracks can cause many tooth problems, including pain. Not every crack will cause pain, but for some that do, a root canal may provide relief. When a cracked tooth will or won't require a root canal is too complex for this video once again, but some will require a root canal and can be used to take you out of pain. Once again, a dentist or a root canal specialist will have to tell you more specifically in your case. Six, exposure of the canal. Sometimes a cavity fracture or deep dental work will put a hole in the canal system of the tooth or expose it to the outside environment and in some rare cases people just even grind the teeth down until it gets to that center canal if that center canal becomes exposed it will require a root canal treatment to prevent infection or to get rid of fey infection that is already in it seven redo a previous root canal unfortunately a small percentage of root canals can fail or become reinfected if the tooth can be saved sometimes a root canal can be done again to fix the tooth eight internal resorption on a rare occasion the inside of a tooth will begin to dissolve the tooth from the inside. It's a strange phenomenon. If this happens, the only hope of saving the tooth is to try performing a root canal to save the tooth. And so this is the gist of root canals. And you can just watch my full procedures on root canals if you want to see a little bit more on those. Watch all my daily tooth care videos I have posted now for the best technique tips and products for a stunningly clean mouth that avoids tooth decay and gum disease and gives you fresh breath and white teeth. My dental products are in Amazon affiliate links in the description below this video. If in Southern California, my dental office is in the description as well. Like and subscribe to my channel if you have teeth.